So let's get rid of the elephant in the room. That's not you, Skumba. <laughs> I mean the white elephant. What they call me tonight. Comedy Central have a vendetta. And you're paying a white guy to be the roast master. I'll explain this to Kurt, all right, because I speak Centurion. These guys have decided to call me the roast bass. Black Twitter is gonna kick me in the balls till I die. Do you understand? <laughs> Look at this self-proclaimed roast bus. <laughs> Gareth, you are the only person that went to court to legally protect yourself from being racist. Oh. Amen. So you actually went to court and made it illegal to call you racist. I'm just gonna call Dalim Popu. <laughs> Your racism is subjudicate. <laughs> I wonder why didn't you give your friend Vicky Mombek the number of a good lawyer? No. Uh, Dalim Popu, of course. Uh, Gareth, thanks for coming out tonight. <laughs> This is probably the biggest audience you've had since 5FM. How does it feel? <laughs> you know, you've lost so much relevance, nobody hates you anymore. <laughs> Kids, the moral of the Gareth Cliff story is don't start as Paza Radio. You know, you know I love you, right? I love you, Matt. <laughs> For the record, please keep your eyes on your drinks. Whoa. This mother <laughs> will roofie you. <laughs> and he loves them old. Some bucks. <laughs> when I accepted this Comedy Central roast of Exhibit A, I promised my wife I would keep it clean and I wouldn't use the P word. But Gareth Cliff, you're a pro. <laughs> a real pro. <laughs> Gareth Cliff, that one guy, the only guy that stood up for Penny Sparrow. <laughs> The only guy. Even Steve Hoffmeyer called and said, yes, you book. <laughs> you went too far this time. <laughs> there are two things that South Africans are held together by. Our absolute love for Nelson Mandela and our absolute dislike for Gareth Cliff. <laughs> Gareth, if you were a black woman, you would be in Sikkim as well. <laughs> How many South Africans has Gareth disappointed? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Gareth will give back the land, guys. <laughs> Just not the land his closet is standing on. You look like a mid-level manager of a postman in Pretoria. <laughs> Who just had his wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> Gareth, I don't understand how there's so much hatred coming out of your mouth when so many men have put love inside it. And by love, I mean penis. I mean penises. 
just in case anyone else. Start hard. Uh, Gareth is tonight's roast master, ladies and gentlemen, so now we all forced to call this master. <laughs> Luis Ogola is at his house wondering how the f he got this gig. <laughs> I know, white privilege, I know. I get it now in Tiki, I understand, I finally understand. Thank you. Don't have to tweet. <laughs> People don't know this, but Gareth was in Pretoria Boys High's first rugby team last weekend. <laughs> For the whole weekend. His favorite position is hooker. Chief. Well, nice, nice job tonight, too. Nice one. Yeah. You're, do, you're doing great. You're doing great. Give him a round of applause. He deserves it. You know you're useless in life when you leave a show and no one cries. You know. <laughs> like, when you left idols, no, no one. Even Unach was like, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, after you did what you did to Maralo, because you took advantage, you saw her face, her papa laughs at law. When, uh, uh, like, no one replaced you, no one. You know what they did? They took your chair, they put it on the side, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> and racist. <laughs>